Graham Bloxham from Hotline. I tell you, I'm down here and we've just switched interviews. We're switching it up again. We're here with Nicola Cranfield from Cranfield's The Shop, the famous shop that's been around in Wellington. Take it, taking a few dollars out of the pockets and also adorned some beautiful leather elephants in people's hallways. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks, Graham, for having me along. Excellent. And, and, and we'll have some questions up questions for Nick. Up. Yeah, for sure. So, so do you want a hat? Uh, can I say no? Yeah, you can <laughs> say no. <but> like, <laughs> <laughs> There's no room for a third hat. Does that mean we all have to take our hats off? Hats off for Nick Cranfield. <laughs> you have fought like crazy for uh, Lambton Key. You fought like crazy for your for your brand, your family brand. Mm -hmm. You're That's looking perfect. absolutely magnificent, can I say? And uh, you have thrown in the towel. Yeah. I, you're right, Graham. I have been fighting for six years, oh, trying to draw some attention to what's about to happen on Lacton Key and Courtney Place and just the impact that's going to have on so many small businesses. You fought and uh, where I first met you at the protest and you took me in to meet some of your great friends and they were right in the middle there and they were they were trying to study what was happening in Wellington and and uh, you got very involved in, in, in Wellington then and You've been involved since then in Lambton Key and some of the decisions that the council have made. What do you think about Lambton Key, Sarah Jane? I think it's great. I mean, I go shopping down there occasionally, and yeah, but of course, Lambton Key, you know, can be quiet sometimes now, especially with everything that's going on in the past year and things, and more than a year, COVID. Is it, is it quietening down down there, or? Is mm, it... Definitely. And the council keeps saying they want to widen the footpaths for the overcrowding. Oh, wow. <laughs> so don't, they, don't they just want to put a whole of cycle lanes down the middle and then dig up the drains a year or two later? <laughs> yeah, that's the usual process. Siobhan, uh, what's her name? Siobhan Proctor or whatever her name is. And I have been told by my producer to not go after the person. Must stay on the issue. So we won't talk about Siobhan Proctor's um, infrastructure ability. And it, the word destruction is an infra's destruction. Um, so you're going to be sadly missed Apparently, we've had the most amazing outpouring of love and support. So, yeah, we've buoyed along. And so much so that we've had all these options presented to us about the next iteration of Cranfield. So stay tuned. Have you? We'll see what unfolds. Are you going to turn it into a show? I'm, no, I'm not singing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't talk for the people of Wellington. They, they definitely want to take their city back. Yeah. They want to see uh, the, the the end of, of crazy silly expenditure and lose six seven hundred million dollars. I think they want the um, the infrastructure fixed. They definitely want more cones at five dollars ninety nine. We've oh, got another friend over here, yellow cone. <laughs> and yellow cones jobs. We're going to put one in every suburb with a little flag on the top, and the person who grabs it gets paid fifty dollars a month to report on the suburbs. So it's a way of keeping the suburbs interlooped and and um, engaged in things that are going on in the city. So what's 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 next for you, Nick Cranfield? Let's watch the space. We'll see if Cranfield has a, a next chapter. Excellent. Well, thank you for uh, coming in and, and um, me. we'll give you a piece of the uh, happy budget cake. Have, have you got anything to say about the budget? I was a little underwhelmed. Yeah, it felt like a budget that wasn't going to offend anyone, but it isn't going to get anyone excited. Yeah, yeah. Well, that um, sounds a wee bit like um, tie happy. <laughs> <laughs> that was Graham Bloxham for um, talkback show update. What's it called? Hotline. Hotline. <laughs> the hotline update hotline. talkback show where we engage the audiences, people of Wellington, in every suburb with really interesting, cool people. Thanks, Graham. Beat Wellington on a good day or even a bad day too You can't beat Wellington, it's a cliche but nonetheless it's true